Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Back here we got the arena that I play. This is gonna be the first video introduction. Out of here we're gonna do trips in the city of Tokyo. I'm about to show you my favorite spots, you know, my favorite place to eat, my favorite cafes. And this is the beginning of everything, Harajuku Station. One of my favorite areas in this city, and probably one of the most famous, is the area of Harajuku. And I'm about to show you around this area. Shinjuku is over there to the left, where that big tower is, and Shibuya is to the right. This is the station is in the middle, where everything goes around. All the shops are here, all the culture, you know, goes around this area. Cosplay and stuff, you know, usually they come and uh, display around this area. You got Jojogi Park right here. So a lot of people before coming to our games spend some time over here in the park and Meiji Temple is over there. I wish we could go see it, I think it's close today, but it's a beautiful, you know, temple too that we can go see and one day I will show you because it's a beautiful walk. Station is right here, we play the Yogi National Stadium. This is uh, Omote Sando Street uh, that go all the way to Aoyama, you know, this is where all the big shops are. This area over here is Harajuku. This street goes from Harajuku to Shibuya and you got this cat street over here that is where a lot of shops are and you know a lot of the things that is worth it are around so we're gonna go check it out now but this is the map of this area pay attention to it I choose this place for today's video because this is probably the area that I spend most time here in Tokyo usually when I just come to hang out on a day off I come around this area I like the vibe, I like the food you know, like a lot of things that are going on around here. This is where everything started, and this is the place I want to show you. The reason that I came to Japan is because after I finished my contract with Real Madrid and I was playing in Spain in ACB, I was free to go anywhere else. I wanted to see different places, you know, in the world. I wanted to travel, and I always knew that the Asian market was good. I had an opportunity, you know, to choose between Korea, China, or Japan, and I was always more attractive with uh, Japan and the culture and all the things that you grew up watching, you know, on TV, and it's something that uh, even if it wasn't forever, I kind of wanted to come and try, you know, and see the experience I was. Four years later, this is where I am, you know. This is literally one of the best decisions I took, you know, in my life and in my career. I tell you, Japanese is a very difficult language, and uh, it takes some time to learn and some time to get used to it. You know, I have a similar experience when I went to the States for the first time. Well, I didn't know how to speak English, but English is a language that we're all familiar with. And at the end of the day, it didn't take me too long, you know, to figure out. Here is my fourth year, <laughs> and I'm still, you know, having trouble. So of course I'm learning. Of course, you know, I'm taking classes, and I do can have normal conversations. You know, I can have move my way around. You know, I can order things in restaurants. I can understand things, but to be able to become to speak perfectly, we're still influent. I still have a long way to go. This over here is the cross, you know, between Meiji Dori and Omote Sando. It's one of the most important crosses. It's this one and the one that is on the other side of the street. You know, a lot of people go through here. We got the Tokyo Plaza over here, this building. And this is where the Harajuku back streets, you know, start. And this is where we're going to go now. Not for promotion or publicity, but it is not Japanese food. It is not nothing special. But that place right there that you see in the corner, Guzman and Gomez. It's one of my favorite places around this area to go eat the Mexican taqueria. Great tacos and great burritos. Me and Alex, we always go there. You go check it out if you get a chance. This over here is Omote Sando. All the main stores, all the fashion that's going on goes around in the street. And my favorite part around this area is not the main street, but the back streets. Because that's where you got all the gems, that's where you got all the small stores, that's where you got all the cool brands. This is all the shop area, all the stores you want to find, sneakers, clothes, down here, dance collection, this is what I do some of my projects. When I have to do uh, merchandise or collabs that I do for clothes, I used to do it out there in that store. Toki 33 right here, neighborhood in Supreme. You know, Supreme is one of my favorite stores around this area. Carhartt, not far from here. And uh, this is usually where I buy all my clothes from, you know, when I do my shopping. It's a lot to see over here. So if you like fashion, if you like shopping, if you like clothing, this is the place to be in Tokyo. You know, Tokyo is a really big city, close to 30 million people living in this city. And usually around the places that we do play or we do events, 
You know, some people recognize you, some people don't recognize you, but the thing they like the most about Japanese people is they're so polite. They don't really, you know, bother you a lot. You know, it's, it's really nice that you can do your personal life, you can, you know, have your own time and, you know, your own privacy on these streets, you know, and it's, it's really nice, you know, to have. So I really, you know, thank to all the Japanese people, you know, for being that great. We gotta learn, you know, we foreigners gotta learn from how they do it and from what they do because we also be more than that. Dos Noventa, Spanish brand representing right there from Barcelona, you know, the people in the house do it. They got some other great brands over here, but this is one of the best stores, you know, if you like fixies, if you like bikes, you know, to move around the city. That's usually what they do over here. Something that goes a lot too here in these streets is a second hair store, three stores. You know, I never sold anything, but I have bought some things, you know, from here. Uh, it's a lot of stuff here in Japan where they got a lot of really good things. Second hand, you know, and like used clothes. Some things that you're gonna find anymore when they're new, you can come out here and, and do some, some digging, you know, in the shelves, you know, find some nice stuff. So if you like thrifting, if you like, you know, buy clothes, you know, you gotta come check it out. This place is called Omote Sando, over here to the left. You got Omote Sando Hills, it's, you know, a big mall in this area. And crossing the street from Omote Sando, start Cut Street. This is where we're gonna go now. And this is where one of my favorite ramen places is here on this area. So we're gonna go check it out. This over here is where Cut Street begins. It goes all the way to Shinjuku. You got a lot of stores, a lot of clothes, a lot of brands in this area. They got some cool restaurants too. One of my favorite places besides this ramen place that we're gonna go to. Uh, it's called Smokehouse. They got a, you know, American barbecue meat and they came over here from Memphis, you know. And it reminds me of my time when I was back in Ole Miss, you know, back in college. I remember they used to have some of the great barbecue over there. And this is the only place here in Tokyo that I can have that similar taste, you know, barbecue that we did when, when I was in Ole Miss. I don't know if you like it or not, but there is a good Thai place up there. Very spicy. That's all I gotta say last time I came. <laughs> very, very spicy. So if you like Thai food, go check it out. And right here to the right is my favorite ramen place around this area. Usually there is a big line on the door, so we got lucky today that we can get in without waiting too long. Here concludes the first episode of traveling with me and seeing some of my favorite places in Missonia, the city. So I hope you like it, I hope you come back, I hope you continue to watch it. Itadakimasu. <laughs> Vale, se oye, se oye, hola, hola, uno, dos, perfecto. Bueno, problemas. <laughs> Qué bien. So, this is another video. No, espera. I wanted to show the other way, but it is. <laughs> I guess this one we have to do this one. This is what it is, though. Espera. So, cuéntame, que justo. The people talk, but it's better if they stand. Like, if you stand yes. and like people walk through, yes. like nothing happened, like it, it looks more natural, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, but, you know, 